My name's James, I'm a butcher of eight years from Melbourne, Victoria. Ethically, I just completely oppose the job. As I went through this journey um, in the meat room, the ethical issues became harder each day I came into work in the morning. My name is Igor Pershin. I am originally from Russia, grew up in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm the founder of Less Meat, Less Heat. It's a non-profit organisation focused on addressing climate change through diet change. 80% uh, of global deforestation is attributed to agriculture, mostly cattle, um, raising cattle and the spread of that around the world. If people were to cut back their red meat consumption to um, once a week and, and also look at their dairy consumption, that we can actually limit temperature rise to below two degrees by the end of the century. So I thought, oh, I can give this a go for 30 days and see how it goes for me. And it really surprised me because I started feeling fantastic and lost quite a bit of weight. My name's Angie Plummer and I'm from the beautiful green farmland of northern New South Wales and I'm the incoming CEO of Less Meat, Less Heat. The Great Barrier Reef, as a lot of people know, is in quite a bit of trouble at the moment. Over the last 30 years, it's lost more than 50% of coral coverage and that's in no small part due to the fact that there's 4.5 million cattle grazing in the Great Barrier Reef catchment area. Uh, we don't have much time. Christina Figueres, the head of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has come out with a campaign saying that we actually need to stabilise emissions by 2020. That's two years. People just going out and making these small changes can have a huge impact on the environment. I have a two and a half year old daughter. I'll just keep encouraging her to, to think of animals as friends, not food. The population is growing at an exponential rate and at this rate we're going to run out of food. It's really imperative that we pull back the amount of meat that people are demanding because meat uses up so many more resources. As a society we really need to look at these tough issues and sort of evolve further or um, grow towards something better. Or we can try and turn it around and actually have a future that we would like to bring new life into. Even one meal a month or going meat free just once a, a week will make a huge difference to the planet and will hopefully ensure that our children still have this beautiful world as their legacy.